G'day everybody. Well, for today's bit of harmless, dangerous fun, we're going to have a go at converting one of these into an air raid siren. It is a vacuum cleaner motor. I think it might be in a 2000 model or something. Um, but looking at the shape of the impeller that's in it, and this outer edge, I reckon we may actually be able to make it buffet air the way a siren does and produce a bit of noise. So what I'm basically going to do is just cut a series of slots all the way around it and bend up these leading edges on the uh, impeller and see if we can get some noise out of it. Well, the first thing to do is just get this cover off and actually clean that up. So I've modified this one for a... Uh, I was having a go at making one into a blower which didn't really work too well so just for the hell of it I'd figure we'd yeah see if we can make a siren out of one of these redneck air aid siren well there's a top off this one and it's pretty much like all uh, modern vacuum cleaner motors you've just got an impeller a um, cowling or housing which is actually what keeps the air circulating inside of course I'll put a hole in there so I can actually direct air out through a uh, bit of pipe which was also on that but with that closed up it basically circulates through these holes here and past the motor keeping that cool as well and that's why if you've ever put your hand above a vacuum cleaner and you feel the uh, the air coming out is actually quite warm that's because it's cooling air that's been used to uh, cool the motor down but all I'm actually going to do with this is bend up these edges here on the impeller and just bend them out so they stick out a bit. And then I'm going to cut slots in this and actually bend parts of those inwards just so that you get that contact. And when I put power to it, it should in theory start buffeting and making loud noises. Although it may just make so little noise that the noise of the motor just outrules it completely. But anyway, should be interesting to see what it does. Well, this is stator all done. I ended up just using the grinder and, as you can see, put two cuts, once I marked out, and then just another one going right across, and then just bent that little tag in to reach out to this, so I can get it as close as possible. Like you saw in the other video when I um, fixed up the, the proper siren, all that needs to do is just go over the top. Once it's pressed down, it should be uh, right next to it. I'm also going to bend these edges outwards straight as well, so that they then correspond to these ones in here. It's very simple. You just mark out where you want to cut it on all of the... Uh, I just marked it to the number of impeller fins. I think there's nine or something on these. And I just set it up, up like that, put the marks on, took it off, just clamped it down onto the bench, and then used the 4-inch uh, grinder to just put the cuts in once that was done. I um, bent them out, trimmed it up, and fits on fine. So next step is to bend each of these out so that it, like I said, it corresponds to that and so you can get much as much noise as possible. There's the edges all bent out. Done that for all of them. And I've also adjusted it to uh, fit each edge here so that they don't collide with each other and make the horrible ticking noise. That'll just go on top like so, and then that'll press down and should be ready for a test run. Okay, we're all wired up and ready for a test run. I've got a wire to the variac at the moment so I can control its output. Let's see what it does. Very loud. That works pretty impressively. I'll unplug it first. That works well. Oh, 
There's something that you can do. Make a vacuum cleaner motor into an air raid siren. Thanks for watching.